Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel, Deb Chanel's 48 Squirrel. That's where we get down. That's where we have conversations, and that's when we do reviews. But another topic, a hot topic is brewing on social media, and yes, none other than Media Takeout has dropped a bomb of a story. Yes, if y'all haven't seen my video uh, where I talked about Tom Joyner and Ricky Smiley, uh, handing over the torch to the younger brother, which is Ricky Smiley. Well, hey, y'all need to go watch it because this story is about to break on my channel. Yes, only thing I can say about Eva Marcellus is scandalous. <laughs> the girl is scandalous. First, she's going to tell us, oh, I have to move uh, every so many uh, months or, or, or times out the year because. Uh, my ex-boyfriend, you know, he's this, that, and the third, you know, domestic violence and all of this. And I have to, you know, move. I mean, this is the storyline she was giving us on Real Housewives of Atlanta when she was appearing on the show. But apparently, she done ain't a six-figure deal. Yes, six-figure deal. Being a radio personality, okay? Let's just drop back a little bit. Let's phase on back. I don't know if she's ever been on radio before, before meaning she subbed in for Portia Williams while she was on vacation. But it just seems like all these opportunities are being thrown in Eva Marcellus slash Sterling because she don't really say Marcel Sterling or Eva Sterling because she is married now. So she should be partaking of her married name, okay? Because even Monica Kaufman, she was a, a radio, TV personality, and she stayed strong with her, Monica Kaufman. But then I guess her husband, when she got married, he probably said, you need to acknowledge. You need to, you know, you need to wake up and acknowledge who I am and who you are now. Not who you become and solidified yourself in, but who you are now. And Monica Kaufman had to go to Monica Pearson, okay? Not saying she was stronghold or strong tied, you know, or, or, or really guilt tripped into, you know, going with her last name. But, I mean, only your husband, honey. Only your husband, especially if he was a good one. So, I just threw that in there just to uh, give you an analogy between the two. You know, unless you are a doctor or somewhere really pristine, or, or higher up in the community. I can see why you wouldn't want to uh, give up your last name or whatnot. Or maybe have some political official things going on with it. I don't know. But I just feel like you should be hyphenated. Or, you know, if you want to keep a legacy, like you're the only doctor in the family. Or your father was a doctor. You're just trying to keep that legacy. I can see that. But if you're just a plain old Joe G or running around here... Take your husband's last name. Honor him. Okay, I'll hyphenate, you know. Be uh, Marcel Sterling, okay. But child, she done gave ATL the deuces. Now, she come from California. You know, she's in that top model type thing, modeling world. And, you know, she made a couple of videos here and there. Getting ready to produce a lot of solidness. But that's how the modeling world goes. You get into marketing, advertising, such things. But, you know, I don't know who brought her here. And Well, I guess she said her husband was running for politics. You know, and when I, when I hear people saying politics, I'd be like, oh, Lord, what lie are they going to tell? Is he a liar or whatnot? Because you have to tell a lot of lies and be two faces when you're dealing in politics. That's just a given. Okay, you try to go in doing the right thing, but once they suck you in and you see what really it is when you get up there in... Uh, the position of, you know, being a congressman or senate or, you know, a representative or whatever in the government. It's a lot of bull. It's a really lot of bull and red tape. And you have your hands pretty much um, handcuffs on doing the right thing and, and settling and, and doing what's best that fits you. Okay, like all the promises you made when you were a politician, trying to do better for the community. You made, made 10 promises and only... Um, really sell and produce two of your promises, of the 10 promises you made. But anyway, I'm kind of getting off track because I'm a little excited about this story and just shows how one hand washes the other. And when you're connected with uh, 
you know, when you go to school and you get into certain cliques or whatnot or sororities or fraternities and, you know, they really be looking out. I ain't going to say all, all the time with every um, sorority pledge or uh, alumni or frat pledge or, 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 or alumni, you know, because you still want to help who you want to help because if that was true, I know a lot of uh, sorority sisters that their sisters hadn't helped them out because it was a, a political type thing in their little, um, uh, what do you call it? And their sorority group, I should say, or their, you know, organization. So it's still who's who or who, who you want to help uh, type of stigma placed. And, you know, um, it was told to us that Eva went to Clark Atlanta um, College down here in Georgia. And, I mean, I don't know if she got a degree or not. It's neither here nor there or whatever. But, you know, I'm like, shoot, she should run from a politician type of um, um situation or office because <laughs> she knows she'd be woo, telling some big lies running running around here knowing they're gonna catch up with them i'm like eva really you saying this man got you running out your boots and you changing addresses here and there uh when you were taping for last season telling candy all this foolishness and then you know just to have a storyline, I guess. I don't know. And it could be some issues really there. But if it was really incognito, I don't think I would be on a well-known platform as the Real Housewives of Atlanta. And then you're going on a radio show where <laughs> you're giving out your uh, whereabouts of where you're headed to next. So if you're really in the belly of the beast, in a sense, of a uh, drama field chaos uh, with your ex boyfriend when it comes to your child you had with him. I don't think I'd be drink, uh, dropping tea of where I'm going to be, what I'm going to be doing, who I'm going to be working for, all those type of things. Because most people that's in those type of situations um, when it comes to domestic cases, they are like in the witness protection program. They're like real low key. You know what I'm saying? They're not out there for the world to see. So you kind of contradict yourself when you were saying all this foolishness on Real Housewives of Atlanta. So you're not really giving me reality TV. You're giving me pretty much bull. <sighs> but anyway, Ava is taking off, y'all. She is going to Dallas, Texas. To be a radio personality on the Ricky Smiley Morning Show down there. Yes, she's following her uh, cohort, co-host, Gary with the T. And uh, the Brad is joining them. And Miss Juicy. So all of them are pulling up roots from Atlanta and moving on to uh, hotter places, I should say. <laughs> I'm like, I'm t it's too much. So I guess she's going to be turning in her resignation over at the Real Housewives of Atlanta. Because, I mean, they were really second guessing on whether they wanted her on the show or not. But I was just like, wow, what was what what was Eva using on Ricky Smiley? Because if you go back in the day, Claudia Jordan went over there. And you see how that uh, went to play out. Then... Portia went over there, and there was a storyline trying to build it. Maybe her and Ricky were going to start dating or whatnot. But he didn't give her the opportunity because he was still running crazy around there trying to, you know, do other things and probably start another show. And like I said, he had got into some kind of stuff where he wasn't happy, and he ended up leaving because he had got suspended for something he said about somebody's shoes or whatnot. Whole big commotion. But anyway, <laughs> I was like, uh -uh, this is too much. Oh, girl, Eva had come, conquered, saw, and dismissed herself and said, I got to go do more things. And then it just plays an innocent part to why would she say that she wanted to move closer in town when she was telling Ken on Real Housewives of Atlanta because she had to stay in the area where her husband can get or he could um, try to run for office in the Atlanta area, the city of Fulton County, down here in Georgia. And and I'm like, okay, so what is he going to do? Is he going to stay here? 
why you take the kids and you go, you know, or y'all gonna commute or something. That's a long, long commute flights and stuff. You know, I wouldn't want to take that drive. But I'm like, so is he going to move and try to run for office in Dallas, Texas? Because I thought y'all were trying to put down roots down here. So I'm like, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Are you the breadwinner of the family? Because I don't know. I mean, he's a lawyer, so I guess he can practice anywhere, anytime. But I don't know. Your story just seems to be going. I'm, I mean, I'm really trying to be here for you, Eva, but it's just like you just keep going back and forth and your story's not checking out. But hey, six figure salary. Um, what do you call it? A full year, because you said your contract with Real Housewives of Atlanta was more so a six month deal, and then six months you would just be, you know, living your life. But I mean, if you were making pretty good on Real Housewives of Atlanta, why would you have to work? I mean, it's not like you're by yourself. You do have a husband. He should be bringing in income. You know, I, I, I just don't know. It was, I was just tickled, I, you know, because I'm thinking new season coming in. Okay, but it's, I guess it's pretty much already done taped if we're going to be seeing it shortly. So you'll make that revenues. But yes, I see you don't ink you a nice, a nice good deal. But uh, just said, if, you know, if you really want to get where I go in detail, just check out my video I did on Tom joining uh, and Ricky Smiley uh, past the torture. So it was something like that. But, you know, go on my channel. Or stay on my channel and just go through my archive of videos. I had just put that one out yesterday. So go on and catch up on that one. And give me a like, share, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And all those good things, all right? But I am, I am not mad at Eva. I'm like, honey, business way. Business form, do your fine girl. <laughs> because you don't been on television as a television personality. Now you're on radio trying to do the radio personality thing. You know, model. I mean, I guess you're going to write a book later on. I, I, I don't know, girl. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, um, let's go and see what Media Takeout has wrote out on this little um, news blast they gave to us on Miss Eva Marcel. Uh, it writes or reads, Eva Marcel to lead the Real Housewives of Atlanta. It was um, written up on June 29th. And just released today for some reason. I don't know. I guess they had their dot their eyes and cross their T's. Because, you know, they don't want to get no lawsuit or litigation or putting out false information. So, they don't have their time uh, in the uh, spill of those deadly waters, I should say. Okay, but it goes on to say, Eva Marcel will appear on the upcoming season of The Real Housewives of Atlanta in a diminished role. And is expected to be expected to be phased off the show by the end of the season. This is what media takeout news have confirmed. So, okay, she probably had to tell them because these deals were just inked, signed, and they broadcasted it on uh, this past Friday, which was the 28th. So, it broke out. Yep, yeah, somebody had scooped them and put that news on out there because Tom Jordan announced it on his morning show. All right, if anybody wasn't privy of that, it did happen. And Ricky definitely... Gave all the information of who his team was, when they going to start, this, that, and the third. And just everything, honey. <laughs> just everything. I'm like, God, dog, is she only filled in for Portia for a couple of months, two months. And now she done inked the deal being a radio personality with a six-figure salary. I mean, co-host. <laughs> I'm, I'm looking at Portia like, weren't you and uh, Ricky Smiley kind of close playing footsies at that time? And he didn't break no deal down. Uh, to you like that, Portia? What's going on, baby? But anyway, getting back to this commentary. It says, uh, this will be Eva's last season on Bravo's most popular TV show. But unlike the other housewives who were fired by the network, the choice to leave the show is Eva's, according to people close to the situation. Of course, who, who wouldn't leave? If somebody going to give me a six fill six figure salary. The only thing I have to do is talk on the radio. Nobody really got to see me unless they, they're filming like most radio stations now because V103 had started doing it. But I think really this nation had kind of brought it out where you get to see them in their studio and conversing with people and uh, bringing them on and having them on as audio as well as vi uh, a video where you can visually see them if you have the capability like internet 
or whatnot. So, yeah, she'll be seen, but not like on Real Housewives of Atlanta. And, of course, to me, they didn't really portray her in a very good light. So, it's kind of good that she got off the show. And she wasn't probably, more than likely, not making a six-figure six figure salary. Okay, let's just face it. Hey, she might be up there with Nene now. <laughs> I wonder what Nene thinking about all of this. Okay, <laughs> moving on back to the story at hand. Okay, it says a person close to Eva explained to Media Takeout News that Eva recently agreed to move to Dallas with the Ricky Smiley Show. The radio show, which was located in Atlanta, will be moving to Dallas at the end of the year, replacing the Tom Journal morning show nationwide okay and eva signed a multi-year six-figure contract to move to dallas with ricky and the crew our insider explains eva loves being on the housewives but she also loves radio and spending time with her family uh yeah if she didn't have this opportunity she would still be on the real housewives of Atlanta trying to bring drama. But most of the time, the drama was spilled her way, and she was trying to dig her way out of a lot of uh, mischief and, and a lot of uh, hearsay rumor, uh, rumor stuff. So uh, let's move on back to this article. It says, our inside explained, Eva loves being on the housewives, but she also loves radio and spending time with her family. Uh, the housewives is a 12-hour-a-day job for six months out of the year. Also, the insider explained Eva would like some privacy back. <laughs> like, girl, no. You don't want no privacy back because how can you? You're telling people or you're giving uh, your publicists or people close to you to give information out to the social media feeds, which that's how we get our information. And we tend to make our own constructive opinion about what is giving to us as far as entertainment news and then we start seeing holes uh, or we start punching holes in the story because it's not adding up oh but anyway moving back to the commentary it says um let me see here she wants a privacy bag it says evil fans don't worry she's not gone yet we're told that the former america's top Next, or well, next top model will have a diminished, diminished role next season, but she'll still be around to bring the drama. No, the drama was on her. Okay, <laughs> she need to be off camera when it comes to bringing the dirt because uh, -uh. the whole time she was on Real Housewives of Atlanta, it was not in a very good lighting. Um, they were really talking about her dog and her owl, giving her more drama than what she needed. And she not she couldn't come back from it. So she was trying to do damage control half the time. But it just is what it is. Her girlfriend has risen from being a college student. And like I said, I don't really know if she graduated or not from Clark Atlanta. Uh, and then she was on the next top model. Maybe not in those type of... Um, elevations you know it might have been one for the other who knows but you know her you know modern career was fair i guess you could say not longevity she made a couple of videos appeared on bt specials and stuff like that war shows and things of that nature but nothing really came way of solidification uh in the field of entertainment until she to my knowledge, she got on to Real Housewives of Atlanta. And we could see she didn't fare as what she didn't really fare. She was about the same as when they brought Kim Fields on. But I felt Kim Fields was a, a stronger minded person and she could handle every last one of them on there. She just didn't want to, uh, she just wanted to add something else to her resume. Probably one she wouldn't talk about as much because it really wasn't. Something that was in depth of what she's used. Because Kim is a, Kim Fields is an actor. <laughs> I mean, an actress. You know what I'm saying? She don't get too cool and you come into her life on the film, this, that, and the third. And make her look some kind of way. No, unless she's paying that, playing that particular character. And you're not going to portray her into looking this and that way. <laughs> no, 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 no. Y'all, that was my hot topic that hit those social media ways. Yes, it was all on 
Miss Eva Marcel slash Sterling. Okay. And I don't know how she gonna hide. She said she was gonna hide. She had to hide from her estranged boyfriend from her baby, her first baby. I was like, girl, now you you gonna gave us everything except for your new address. <laughs> In Dallas, Texas, and I am sure you already got real estate people out there, and and they probably already know y'all coming this that and third. You gonna make your mark down now, trying to go uh, schmooze with the who's who and all that. And they gonna find out where you uh, live at and shop at and and, and mingle at. It's, it's just good. I mean, come on, stop, stop it with uh, Kevin McCall. Stop putting him in such a bad light. You know, if he was that, that bad, he should be locked up somewhere. Am I correct? I think I am. But however, he doing what he doing, you doing what you're doing. And hopefully y'all can get it together and co-parent. Because it's not about y'all anymore. We can see y'all both have moved on. But girl, I'm just saying, girl, you did one, two, three punch lights out on Atlanta. Yes, you did, girl. You did that thing. You, you solidified yourself, lost a six-figure salary. Now, I hope your husband is coming up to play the part, got that six-figure six salary as well, or more than that, because you got expensive taste, and you already got, you know, dirt on your name, honey. You already got dirt on your name saying, you know, you can't keep no house, you, you know, your car's getting repossessed, and you're moving from place to place pillar to post and you know marlo hampton gonna keep up with you whether you own the real housewives of atlanta or not she gonna have the dirt <laughs> so she gonna keep the ass with your girl oh yes she is she might play nice since you're on the radio and y'all be looking for celebrities to come by and drop tea you know across the radio waves and all this and that and since y'all are gonna be like tom was Going international, it's going to be a, a, a wild ride. Hope you can keep up with them, Marcel. I hope you can keep up with them, Eva. Because, hey, Claudia didn't make it in Atlanta. The ratings were like, uh. The people were calling in on her like, uh. She wasn't giving nothing. So, hopefully, hopefully, girl, you can give us more than facial. <sighs> <laughs> but God bless you. God bless your family. You keep on doing you, girl, because you have set you have set the tone for Portia and others to come in, show out, and leave, honey, with the bag. I ain't got no issue with you, girl. Do you? Do you? All right, guys. That's all I had for this particular uh, news breaking story on social media. Hope you enjoyed it, and come back to the channel. And subscribe if you haven't. Please share my videos and like my videos. Good night.